Hey you guys, it's Kaden King and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say I know the last video was really hard, but I really seriously thank you guys so much for all of your support. It really meant a lot to me to read your comments, your direct messages, like I've read them all. You guys are so sweet. So, you know, thank you for always being there for me and you know, I'm always here for you guys. So thank you so much. For today's video, I thought it would be so fun to do a get ready with me video. It's been three years since I last did a get ready with me video. I thought it would be really fun to see what's different what's changed and then you guys can go watch my old one let me know what you guys think is my routine better now is it better then and yeah so let's just get started and i hope you guys enjoy and see how i got this beautiful beautiful look hi you guys it's kaden king and welcome back to my channel yes i look like a pasty little ghost but it's winter baby and i can't afford a spray tan so that's why that's that i just woke up i just made my bed and i thought let me do a glorious get ready with me. I have more helpful tips and tricks so you can look not like this, but what were finished products. Let's go get ready. Okay, so like I said, I'm about to hop in the shower, so I will be right back. I am so crusty. I look disgusting, but just know it's because I'm hungover. Don't get hungover if you have to film a YouTube video the next day. I'm gonna take a shower and I'll be right <gasps> I just showered. I always feel so much better after a shower. Like, I don't know what it is, but there is something about taking a really, really hot shower that just, I mean, look, I'm like red because if you're like me, you like the water scolding hot to wake me up. So I just showered. I'm going to go throw on some clothes and then, you know, we can start with this. Get ready with me process. I just, I can't be naked for you guys. I mean, if you want to see my tits, there they are, but other than that. You gotta pay to see the rest, so. Okay, you guys, so I just threw on a little juicy tracksuit because, you know, we're getting ready to go nowhere. So, like, I find it so healthy sometimes to get ready to go nowhere. If you have nothing planned for the day, like, it feels so good to just, like, wake up, like, really take the time, get ready. And another thing I like to do, and sorry about my this old necklace that I got out of the garbage. I love to put on like some bling. It just makes it like so fun. This is what I'm gonna wear all day. Just so I like feel it. I'm not going anywhere. Try it. Oh, look how cute. Okay, so I, I have loved this picture for forever. If you don't know, Breakfast at Tiffany, one of the best movies of all time. Anyways, so after I first get out of the shower, I usually like to do this when I'm naked, but you guys are here today. So I had to adjust the routine a little bit. I like to take this pink, Victoria's Secret body spray and I'll usually just spray it all over myself and the reason I do it naked is because I feel like it sticks to your body So the smell lasts longer. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know I do take the facial toner and I think it's amazing But I get a lot of it and then so I think this is called gua sha gua this this like black stone thing And while I have the toner like really on my face, I'll go through and contour like I don't know You're just supposed to do all the areas like your jawline I'll do like this and I'll go down on my neck and it's just supposed to make you look better so i've been doing it religiously and i freaking love it and for today's video i'm not gonna do it because i'll look stupid you can google it you can watch people do it um and i love doing it so that's usually my first step like i said i did it off camera because i didn't want you guys to see that also i brush my teeth i brush my teeth off camera so if you don't see me brush my teeth in this video i promise i brush them and then usually the next thing i like to do and this is why when i get ready i'm naked the whole time so it really doesn't matter if i go out of order i take any lotion by Victoria's Secret and it's Bombshell. That's like been my favorite, I think, perfume like of all time. I think if I could only have one, it would be Victoria's Secret because it's my goal. For my room to smell like Victoria's Secret, for my car to smell like Victoria's Secret, and I hope one day my house just radiates Victoria's Secret. So I'll just rub that on my hands, I'll do a little bit on my legs. And yeah, I just feel like lotion keeps you young, and so does sunscreen, so I recommend both. I don't know if you guys want, like, you guys want a tea, huh? Let me spill some tea. I'm really depressed, but I decided I could be a depressed icon, and just because you're depressed, does not mean you still can't be a hot bitch at the same time. So I'm doing both. Okay, last thing that I'm not gonna do on camera is I obviously put on deodorant. Yes, this is my one, the one manly thing in my life is this deodorant. Other than that, girly as they come. After I've done all that, this is where we get more into the beauty routine. So I actually have a prescription for tretinoin. If you've never heard of it, it's God's greatest gift to your face. It just helps with like acne. I feel like it helps firm my face, but maybe I'm crazy and I have really sensitive skin. So my face is probably getting red, but that's because 
I'm touching my face. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I take the Revita Lift by L'Oreal. I just love the wand. This, look how cool that is. Rub it on my under eyes. It's supposed to, I don't know. I don't know what it does, honestly. I just buy it because it has hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is never bad. This is kind of funny, but I like to mix these next products and rub them all in at the same time just because then I feel like easier and I'm lazy. I like to take the CeraVe moisturizer and I'll just do one pump on my hands like that. I also like to mix it with the, the brand's called number seven. I really like their stuff, but this is their dark spot corrector. So I'll do like a drop of that. Then I'll take some Neutrogena, do a little bit of squirt of that. My last thing, see this number seven brand, I really, really like, which is so funny because I wore like MAC for years. I was like obsessed. Like I had to have MAC. I don't feel like I have to have MAC anymore. And I also don't like as full coverage as I used to. So I'll just rub all of that together. I don't have time for a beauty blender, okay? Plus if I use my hands, like I can get this much faster. And then I'll try to do my neck so I don't end up like James Charles. <sighs> I was ugly and now I'm beautiful. Now that we've got all that done, do like concealer um, and that I do prefer to go full coverage. This is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fit. I'm seriously not kidding you when I say this product is the holy grail. Like the holy grail. Like if I was stuck on an island alone, I basically am alone on an island by myself. But if I was ever forced into, I don't know, away from civilization, this is what I would bring. I think this stuff is so good. And then I'm a boy and I grow a beard. I don't know. I'm not a beauty influencer. Okay, let's get that straight. Um, my brand is being a hot mess. I usually put a little bit on my chin. The thing I like about this is I used to color correct my under eyes because they're horrible. Then I found this product and now I don't have to color correct and I can just lap this stuff on and it works so good. It's actually really funny because makeup, what's her name? Michaela, the makeup person on TikTok. She's the one that recommended this, which is funny because she's very problematic. Like specifically I'm thinking of her mascara video but like I, I don't get why people are like mad now like i think she's always kind of you know done things that like why would you trust this like girl but obviously like she was right about this like this stuff's amazing i just think she's very problematic but she was right about that so oh sorry last thing i'm taking is just some lara mercier setting powder this stuff also really helps with not being super i see beauty influencers like cake this stuff on their face and i'm like that's because you're wearing too much makeup i just need a little bit <sighs> and then i guess probably lastly fyi I found this product before TikTok did, and that is the Dior lip oil. I love this stuff to death. I've been using this stuff way before TikTok ever found it. So call me what you want, a trendsetter, because I kind of am one. But I will say this is really expensive and it's probably not worth it. I just buy it because I like the bottle. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna do is probably mascara. And the funny thing is I used to buy really expensive mascaras and they would just, I don't know, I feel like you use mascara once and I feel like it like dies. So I always am buying new mascaras. So I just learned it really doesn't make that big of a difference if you use the expensive one, if you use the cheap one. So I go get these cheap ones because I usually throw them away once a week or once a month. Any mascara, like I've never found a mascara that's lasted forever. So if you guys know of one, put it down below because I just think they run out so quick or they dry out or like, what am I doing wrong? This is just cheap cover girl. So that's a problematic name, don't you think? Cover girl, I think they should change that. They had Bretman Rock, didn't they? Oh, Oh no, it was, I'm such an idiot. It was James Charles. I was literally James Charles, like, claim to fame. When I say I put a little bit of mascara, like, I will die if there's too much on my face. Then you look like a scary spider. Like, especially girls that get their lashes done. Like, I'm not judging you. I'm just judging really hard because you look insane. And I can say that because even my mom gets it. And I tell my mom, you look like shit. Stop getting fake eyelashes. So she stopped. You're welcome. Because I, I improved her. Now for the final, I keep saying final step, but for the final final, if you guys have watched my other beauty routine videos, you know how much I treasure this box. So this is probably so old. I wish there was a year. But I just want you guys to know, for your secret, my mom bought it for ever ago and i'm in love with it and i stole it and i've had it and the day it runs out like i think i'm gonna die because this is like the holy grail of glitter like if you guys like glitter so old and crusty i'm probably gonna get like cancer like look at that glitter though like i love this stuff what i like to do is i'll take another brush and i'll just dip it in here and i'll just rub it like seriously like all over 
my body. I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see the flecks of glitter like flying? And I know you guys can't see it. You guys can't see it, but it gives you like this really pretty glittery effect. And I'm telling you, I have had so many compliments when I wear it. And there is nothing better, nothing better in the world when someone gives you a compliment. It just feels like a final like finish to the look. So this is gross, but let me clean out my ears. Oh my gosh, I didn't even do my hair because it like dried perfectly. But anyways, for hair, I use this got to be glued. If they ever stop making this, I would cry. I've used this since birth. Like seriously, like this is all I've ever used. The only thing I like, I've tried other things and I hate them. And it's actually really funny because I was watching a TikTok this morning and this is what Northwest Kim K's child uses on her little baby hairs. I just thought that was funny that she uses it because that also proves it must be good but yeah anyways this is my final look and i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know what you use what if you use the same things as me if you tried any of the same things as me um and i hope you guys just enjoyed getting ready with me so i love you guys so much and thank you for watching and have a good day oh it's so hard being an icon